As Mark heard, says Christian, the wonderful news that Star Wars is to be re-released in 3D. Quite a number of emails on this. Won't this be the ultimate cinematic experience? And is he, like me, counting off the days until he can put those goggles on and be amazed as the Imperial cruiser rumbles overhead? Blue touch paper, well and truly lit, now standing back from exploding radio. The also, really go- also on this, Phil in Huddersfield, do you think the release of the Star Wars series in 3D will overcome the problems in the 2D versions? Surely it can't make Jar Jar Binks any, any worse. <laughs> the, um, the interesting thing about news that George Lucas is going back to remaster the entire Star Wars series in 3D is, firstly, it's good because, frankly, I don't think he's exploited those movies enough. I mean, I think they could be a real little earner for him, and I'm glad to see that he's finally learned to exploit them. Second thing is retrofitted 3D or as a correspondent a couple of weeks ago pointed out dimensionalized 3D to give it its proper term yes is the modern equivalent of colorization Elvis Costello once said have you ever seen a colorized movie it's like watching a black and white movie on a television that some kid has scribbled all over with crayons now if George Lucas thinks little enough of his own work that he thinks I must go back and turn it into 3D uh, because there's you know somehow it was artistically lacking the first time around great I think what Lucas actually thinks is, you know what? We haven't squeezed any money out of the Star Wars franchise for the last five minutes. We better do that. Meanwhile, James Cameron, who's going around complaining that the 3D revolution is being undermined by the level of retrofitted 3D, is hard at work retrofitting Titanic into 3D. Do we think that's because he thinks the story wasn't told well enough the first time around? In which case, James, I'm with you. Or do we think it's because he thought, you know what? I could make it the third biggest selling movie of all time after the other two that I've just made by re-releasing it. It's like the Avatar Special Edition. Uh, Why? I would go and see Star Wars in 3D. I I know what you're going to say, but I just know that, first of all, it would annoy you. Which bit's going to be better? Yeah, that's why you do it. Well, you know that the very opening Opening sequence where the thing rumbles from the foreground into the background? Yeah, because it looks so much better with that fantastic quality that 3D has of making everything look little. Everything look little. The, The real triumph, incidentally, of that opening sequence is they've got a model, and because of the way it's shot, they've made it look massive. You do it in 3D, it look little. It I know. Look like you look at a little airfix model. Oh, look, I wonder who's in there. That I know. Death Star, it's the size of a football. It's like watching an inter- you know, an intergalactic snooker match with a little football going like that. That's what it'll do. 